Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. My name is Abdul Rahim and you are watching Information Technology Channel which is making a daily basis videos about the generators, electrical and electronics and also mechanical videos and uploading on our channel. Before the starting the video, a small request to our newcomers. If you are first time on my channel, please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to get in more latest update videos. So don't forget to share the, the channel link with your friend which is working on a generator technician, generator electrician to help your friend. So let's get started today. My one subscriber. Question me please sir make video about uh, what is drop city and also the isolation transformer the working of the isolation transformer so we are breaking these two topics in this videos please watch the complete video to understand the basic concept of the drop city and also the working principle of the isolation transformer so let's get started first of all from the drop city as you can see Drop city means the city means the current transformer. Okay, this current transformer is used in a parallel operation to our more generator in a parallel operation to control the VHO power of the generators. Okay, today we are completely explaining the drop city working and also the Wiring diagram connection and also to explain the isolation transformer. So let's get started. It is a CT current transformer. Which is used during parallel operation of the generators to control the reactive power Okay, this is the current transformer to control generator panel operation, the reactive power. Okay, this help to improve the parallel operation of the generator synchronization. Understand? So, this is the working of the drop seat. Understand? It is a CT current transformer which is used during the parallel operation of the generator to control the reactive power. Understand and also to improve the parallel operation of the generators. Okay. Now explaining the connection of the drop CT. From the generators, circuit breakers, we have three bytes. Okay, as you can see here, this is our AVR. AVR means automatic voltage regulators. Okay, S1 and S2, where we use the parallel operation in the generators. This generator AVR must have this connection for the drop seat okay in a bigger generator which is we are synchronizing and used to operate the generator each other in a parallel okay and also we have f1 and f2 this is going for excitation okay and also phase in neutral okay or sometimes two phases okay take one phases and give to the one phase input and take another phase and give to 
this, this is the this is the sensing voltage okay for the area okay and f1 and f2 are sometime x or double x okay this is the negative and positive this is going directly to the exciter okay now we need to understand the drop city connection we take one the drop city like uh, as you can see this is our drop city small type of current transfer okay this is the p1 and p2 the p1 and p2 mark is used for the direction when you your current is passed like this way you need to install this this ct like this system insert the wire from the p1 side and out from the p2 side okay and also our drop ct have s1 and s2 wiring connection okay provide s1 to s1 and s2 to s2 now what will happen in this condition this drop ct control the avr excitation okay and parallel operation when load is increased this this is automatically increase the excitation system to synchronize the generators to each other and improve the synchronization system and also control the reactor power okay what is reactor power and what is actio power and what is vr and what is kv r and what is mv a r okay v actio power which is not useful okay this is not useful power okay but sometime can you a k b a okay k no volt amperes it which what is it your power it your power as mean which is used in your load okay if you have 1000 kva generator and you operate 700 kilowatt load okay which load is consumed this is the actual power actual power is measured in a kilowatt okay and var volts ampere reactor okay and also kvr kilovolts ampere reactor and mvar also you the full form megavolts ampere reactor okay this drop ct system is control the reactor power during the parallel operation of the generators understand this is the complete basic of the drop ct so let's move to explain the isolation transformer What is the isolation transformer? If you thinking about the name is means isolated, isolated, isolated means separated. Okay, that's mean not connected. Understand? For example, this is our power lines. Okay, and this is our. Sorry, 
This is our electric poles and this is our power lines. Okay, and we take one phase and one newton and going to the energy meters. Okay, input and also output to the house phone. Okay, and our home which socket have one phase and one neutral and also sometime this is the grounding wire. Okay. Okay. When we touch this the phase wire, for example, somebody somebody touch this wire, this earth is already grounding. This guy is getting short. That's mean it's touching the line wire phase wire. Okay. That's mean this this electricity is not safe. The engineer is used the isolation transformer for the to prevent the people from the shock and also prevent the devices for the short circuits and damaging. Understand? Now let's draw the diagram of the isolation transformer to understand how the isolation transformer works. Okay? Any transformer have two type of winding one is primary one is secondary okay one is input one is output but the isolation transformer the input voltage is also same with the output voltage and also the turning turning turns the coil of turns is also same when we put 120 volts in a primary we also getting 120 volts from the secondary Okay, what will happen now? This isolation transformer, as you can see here, we have a neutral and also phase wire. Okay, when we touch this wire, when we touch this wire, it's not giving shock because it's not have a electrically grounding path okay this isolation transformer is used for to prevent the people from the electric shock and also prevent the devices appliances like a tv computer refrigerator to prevent people from the electric shock and also to prevent everything from the damaging and short circuiting because here, here we not have a physical contact. This is only working on a magnetic induction. Okay. When we apply 120 volt on a primary, also we are getting out 120 volt from the secondary. Every transformer have two type of wiring: primary wiring and secondary wiring. Okay. But the electrically pole transformer also have one is a neutral wire which is already directly grounded in our earth. Okay. But the isolation transformer not have any ground wire. Okay. You can safely touch the phase wire of the isolation transformer, you will not get in any shock. Understand? So I hopefully to understand these two topics today. Thanks for watching my video. See you all in the next video. If you have further any question, any doubt about anything in an electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, please write, comment below in comment section. I will make a video about your required topic to understand and clear your guide. Thanks for watching my video. See you all next time. Goodbye.